Bay. Can't wait for this one. Featherweight tilt between a couple of newcomers, Matt Wagey and Brendan Lochnain. Matt Wagey taking this fight. Big opportunity for him. He's in the cage already. What do we expect from Matt Wagey? Matt Wagey's been in combative sports since he was seven years old. Started in judo with the Junior Olympics. He's literally been doing this his whole life. He sees this as a huge opportunity. He took this on two weeks' notice. He feels like he's a more well-rounded fighter, and there are no easy fights in the PFL, so he's happy to be here and happy for a shot. His opponent, Brendan Lochnane, a lot of hype behind this guy, Eve Edwards. He's already signed to our 2020 roster. What do you think about this guy? Lochnane is a young stud. He's, he's a very tough fighter. Good striking, clean striking, good knockout power. And he's, you know, we've seen him on the Tuesday Night Contender Series. He's moved on from that, though. He's not, he's happy to be with the PFL. He's looking forward to this fight. He's, good for, he's a good Manchester man, and he wants to come into the PFL and make a statement. Bringing his talent across the pond, the much hyped Brendan Lochnane. Here's our cage muscle tail of the tape. Slight reach advantage for Lochnane. Two inches taller is the Brent, two years older. And this showcase bout will get us started here. PFL action for the first time in Las Vegas, fight capital of the world. Lillian Garcia starts the night inside of our PFL Spark Cage. Fight fans, we are live on ESPN Plus. And to kick off the night, we are featuring this new fighter showcase in the featherweight division. This is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a kickboxer, standing at five feet seven, weighing in at 145 pounds in 19 professional bouts. He has a record of 13 victories and six defeats with seven wins by knockout. Making his PFL debut, fighting out of Delray Beach, Florida. Here is Matt Wagey. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is a striker, standing at five feet nine, weighing in at 146 pounds. In 20 professional bouts, he has a record of 17 victories and three defeats, with 10 wins by knockout. Making his PFL debut, fighting out of Manchester, England, here is Brendan Lockney. Your referee in charge, Chris Tyone. Chris Tyone, third man inside of the cage, controlling the action in this featherweight showcase bout. Matt Wagey there in the silver trunks, Brendan Lochnane in the green. Three five-minute rounds of showcase featherweight action. Not Ready, a sir? playoff bout. Ready, Scouting a little talent for next year's regular season. No touch of the gloves. He's looking for it. We're fast. Inside leg kick there from Loch Nain. We got our counters from there. Yep. Wagey tests the kick. What are we expecting from a striker versus striker matchup, Eve? Well, striker versus striker matchup, these guys look, initially looked like they were going to feel each other out, but now we've gotten into the grappling. And this is what Lochnane expected. He said that Waggy is nothing but, the, but a typical alpha male fighter, which means he wants to get into those tie-ups, throw some big punches, and look for that guillotine. Alpha male of Sacramento, very, very good. Waggy says he loves those lock flows, especially those guillotine flows. The, the, a lot of those alpha male fighters are so known. Nice job by Lochnane to move Wagey and get himself off the cage here. Tessa kick, side kick and leg kick exchange there from these two featherweights. Now it looked like Wagey's truly looking for that takedown. It seems that every exchange is looking to get to those legs. Well, jumping switch kick there from Lochnane. Tried the front heel to the face of Wagey, just missed. Another inside leg kick. Going to work already on the legs of Matt Wagey is Brendan Lochnane. Let him walk. Let him walk. Everything's a wall. Everything's a load up, Wagey. No Big leg kick there. Coming up later tonight on ESPN Plus, our number six seed there, Ray Cooper. He will take on Sadabu C. Both of those fighters coming off losses, both looking to rebound and advance in the welterweight playoffs. Sharp kicks from Lochnane, and that's going to pay dividends in the later round. And I also like how he's 
He's aware of the takedown off of the kick. He's on one foot, but he's ready to defend, change levels, get his hips down, get his head low. Randy, this is not a playoff fight, but Brendan Lochnane especially comes in to the PFL roster with a lot of hype. A lot of people have paid attention to him because of what happened with the Contender Series bout and the non-offer after that. So there's a certain amount of pressure associated with that. I think he has. He admitted he's feeling some pressure. Everybody expects him to come out do big things. He was disappointed in not getting the nod after the Contender Series, but he's really, really happy to be here. He knows next season where he's going to be fighting at least five times. Head kick tested out there by Brendan Lachnane. Eve Wakey trying to close that distance and figure out how he can get his hand on Lachnane. He gets an answer with a right hand trying to close the distance. Yeah, and if he comes into that, comes into that, that range, he's going to have a lot of problems. Another big leg kick from Lachnane. All fine under, all fine under. Wakey retreats. Lachnane taking center control of the cage here. Two minutes remain here in the first round of action at Mandalay Bay, our new home for the 2019 playoffs. Another inside leg kick. We've seen five or six of those already, Randy. They pay dividends later in a fight. Absolutely, that second and third round, those legs are gonna start to not to want to move. They're gonna stiffen up, and it's gonna be harder to change levels and close the distance, which seems to be what Waggy's game plan has been. Comes the kick again, get ready on Wagey having trouble closing this distance, Eve, but he's moving in behind strikes. And when he does that, he needs to stay on, on the line, inside on like line. he just did. He, he landed that left hook as, as Lochnane was backing out, but he's got to press forward. As Lochnane is trying to regain that range, he's got to keep his short distance. Stalking and circling is Brendan Lochnane, the Manchester, England representative in the green trunks. Body kick. Good, good reflexes by Wegney, by Wiggy in firing that left hook right off and blocking that kick. Spinning back kick from Lachnane, getting more creative with the leg attacks. The six down is there, Waggy, when he goes wide. One minute remains here in round number one. There's, that's where you want it, right there, Waggy, six down. That's where you want it, right there. Now, stop this, you Come on. 40 seconds, Lachnane doing a really good job of controlling that distance, using that footwork and that range. Oh, big left hook. Good. Come on. Well, he was able to close the distance a little bit there. Lachnane, another body kick scores. 30 seconds remain. That's where you want it, right there. Six down, go. Six down, go. There's the line, Waggy, right there. Closing in on the end of round number one here in this new fighter featherweight showcase. Nice, go. A lot of kicking offense here. Not, not quite as much we a work with the hands. Not time, a lot of hands time, being thrown, but I notice every line, time Nocknang throws that line. kick, he drops his it. head, you and he's kind of getting hit it. with that left hook from Wiggy. There's our line. He's looking to counter up the middle. Time. More featherweight showcase action when we come back. I mentioned that a lot of the offense in round one came via leg strike. Eve, tell me how these kicks have been set up and what kind of dividends they're paying. They are going to pay dividends, especially should this fight go into the third. But Lockney's just Lockney is just staying on the outside, setting it up by just timing the kick at the perfect shot. Um, I would like to see him follow that up with maybe an uppercut or a straight Second right. Second round, fight! But he's landing these kicks successfully. And he starts round two with another heavy leg kick. Hesitate on it. Waggy's just having trouble closing the distance, getting past that kicking range to land a hand or even get in on a, on a shot. And to do that, he needs to throw combinations. He needs to, needs to start with something, but don't end with the same technique, not just one technique. Start with the kick, follow with your hands. Start with your hands and end it on the kick as Lachnane is backing out. Great footwork by Lachnane, man. Momentarily, a little reversal of roles where Waggy took center of the cage. Had Lachnay moving on the Looking outside, but we saw him Waggy's circle to his left all the way out and around. There and there's a punching exchange as they grab a hold one another. Waggy on, misses with a big hook attempt. Six down, six down, that's our line, Waggy. I need to follow up with a shift. A little bit of a trickle of blood, it looks like, over the right eye of Brendan Lachnay. Don't chase it. Let's Coming go. up in some welterweight playoff action, our three seed Sadabusi, tallest fighter in the welterweight division. He'll face off against Ray Cooper the third. 
in what promises to be an explosive battle. And we see Weggy changing stances a bit. And if you, when, when Weggy comes back around to this angle, we'll see those welts building up on that left leg. Hands up, Weggy! We can see him on the inside also. Right there, right there, all fun. That's our line. See the blood tracing down the right the cheek of Brendan Lochnane. Right hand just misses. Or maybe it landed by the nod right, from Matt Wagey. Matt Wagey closing the distance, rushing in. But Randy, again, the footwork of Loch Nane, he's just not having it. He's not having it at all. He does a great job cutting those angles and finding those ways out of those situations where he might be trapped, trapped against the fence or trapped in a, in a position. Don't let him point you, Don't let him point you, let's go. Inside of Loch Nane's red corner here. We need them hands, let's go. Right there, Waggy, that's where it is, right there. Commit to that six and let's step through. He don't he want that, he don't want that. Off the train, no circle elbow. off, circle off. No elbow. Mislabeled there, that's actually the corner of Matt Waggy coaching their fighter through this exchange. Heavy on that wizard, break that grip on the right, that's it. Lock name. Pushing Matt Wagey against this cage. Randy, a little dirty boxing, a little cage work. Yeah, absolutely. Using that nice barrier to your advantage, you can be a best friend or your worst enemy, depending on where you're at. Interesting to see Loch Main kind of engage that. He backed his way out, but he's the longer fighter. The distance typically uh, is more his friend. Loch Nane is starting to, to press into that range of exchanges to use his hands now instead of just staying out of kicking range. Rarely do you see a guy throw that many naked kicks. Usually his set kicks up with throwing punches and then finish that combination with a kick. But he's throwing a lot of naked kicks in this fight. And now he's starting to move into that range of exchange where he can land his hands. Big body kick and a jab to follow it up as Wagey chases in after that leg kick, excuse me, after that body kick. Yeah, and if he can, if, like what Randy was just saying, if if, Wig, if Lockney can move in with these strikes and then add the kick to the end of that, you know, he's gonna even cause more damage and start to slow Wig, Wiggy down so much more. Part of our cage anomics, you can see the tracking of strike speed. Pretty big disparity there between how fast Lochnane is throwing these strikes versus Wiggy. Circle off, Leo, there you go, push. Even when Waggy uh, blasts in and gets to the body body contact, Lachnane is doing a great job of controlling those situations, getting the underhook, getting inside, and really kind of neutralizing Waggy's ability to function from that inside range. There's that same combination body kick, and he switches stances there as Waggy comes in and Lachnane ducks underneath him. One minute left here in round number two of the Featherweight New Fighter Showcase. I would like to see more jabs out of Lock Lane, because that's going to help him set up those kicks or set up a big shot, because he seems to be the man who's controlling this fight right now. There you go, lock it up, lock it up, lock it up! Where it happens, when the exchanges happen. Turn it, turn it, slide off! 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Back to the cage they go. Brendan Lochnane pushing Matt Wagey. Lochnane in the green. Wagey in the silver trunks. Blood on the faces of both of our competitors now. Lochnane appears to be content to finish this one. Pressed against the cage. Wagey trying to escape. Big exchange to close out round number two here. Round three ahead. On ESPN Plus. A little body kick there from Matt Wagey, Randy. And a little head contact as he came in close the distance. Waggy's head contacted the right eye, just above the eye of, of uh, Loch Nane. There's a nice naked kick been, and then follows it with the jab. Generally that happens in the other sequence. And then this cage work as we're back in action here in round number three. Brendan Loch Nane signed already for the 2020 Professional Fighters League roster. Matt Wagey looking to prove something to the talent scouts here that he belongs on the same roster. Let's chain it together. Chain it Side together. kick from Loch Nane. Switch leads by Loch Nane. You know, the single. It's a surprise. Down on the single goes Brendan Loch Nane. Nice scramble to get back to his feet by Matt Wagey there. Didn't want to be underneath the larger fighter. Absolutely. Got that unhook, circled right to it, came right to his feet, made it very difficult to hold him down. Now this, this, Lachnane looks like he's looking for the takedown. 
Definitely has that overhook, that wizard. He looked like he was stepping in to use his hips and throw Waggy over the top. Let's go, we talked about that with him in the right fighter meetings about chain, him hitting that takedown late in the third you round in the, in the right contender here. series. He's going for the you takedown here again right in the here. third. Maybe he feels like he's going to have a better chance to get the finish on the ground if he goes for the takedown earlier. Lockney prides himself on being an exciting fighter, being a, a finisher. That doesn't mean you can't wrestle. Being well-rounded yeah, is important, in, especially when we're talking about playoff one, action, where you've got to fight twice and win twice, and that's coming up later. He said that was his whole mindset in, in the contender series. There was 30 seconds left. He said, oh, I can show him that I can wrestle a little bit too and secured the takedown, but he felt like that's kind of what went against him and ultimately not getting the nod. A couple clever knees there, Eve, against the cage. Yeah, and, and I, I like how creative he is, but he's got to get Wiggy's head a little bit higher so he can do some, da some real damage with those knees. Get the table, run it, run it, switch your table. Now Wagey in on the single leg. Head inside single by table. Matt Wagey. Three minutes left here, plenty of time to work. Lognane presses out of it. I need that system down off And switches stances again. Nice combination there, finishes with an inside leg kick. That's what I'm talking about. Put your combinations together, finish with the kicks that you've been successful with. The jab missed, but the right hand landed there for Brendan Lachnane, starting to put them together a little bit here, halfway through round number three. Takes the back of Wagey. Up and down, Wagey goes. And straight to work is Brendan Lachnane. Posture very important here, Randy. Absolutely very important. We gotta push, Wagy, let's go. We gotta push, Wagy, let's go. Now, what I would like to see is Weggy move his hips, drop his hips to the mat and circle them to his left so he can pass this open butterfly guard and you be more effective from side control with some pressure. But now he's in the close guard. He's going to have to do a little more work to get by now. Two minutes. Kick off, kick off, kick off. Lachman stands up out of the guard of Weggy and right back to their feet. Less than two minutes here in round three. Lachnane turning up the striking attack a little bit here as well. Starting to find range and let his hands go. It's Brendan Lachnane. Dig it under, watch his separation, hands up. Off the cage, off Punches his way out of the brakes. I like how he does that. He does a good job keeping that, finding that distance for the hook. That's funny kick. Big shots. Big body kick and follows it up with a few punches. Now Wagey looks to be in trouble. He's flat-footed, standing back against the cage. I would love to see Lockley now transfer to his punches and go go to some body shots with his hands. Looked like Wagey was temporarily stunned a little bit there, but gets back on his bike. Now he's moving a little bit. Right here against our broadcast position, Wagey with his back on the cage. Lockney separates with a hook. One minute left here in round number three. Featherweight new fighter showcase. Both fighters trying to prove their worth for the 2020 PFL featherweight roster. Nice stiff one too by Lockney. Wagey came in. I need big hands. Waggy's hands have dropped a little bit in, this, in the middle of this round. Those body kicks might have something to do with it. Oh, nice right, right hand there by Lachnane. Absolutely. And another lands, a short one this time. If he puts together a sustained combination, he may be able to take Waggy out right here. Stumbling around, fatigue, shock, we don't know what it is, but Waggy less steady on his feet than he was a round ago. And there's that sustained combination, but then he closes oh, the distance. Knees. A flurry here with 10 seconds left from Lachnade. High kick, Wagey's another tough, jab. Man. Wagey is tough. A big hook to respond from Wagey. Lachnade smiles at it. Interesting finish to this bout. And Randy, I think Brendan Lachnade put together his best round there in the third. Absolutely did. He let his hands go a little bit more. The takedowns were nice. He did a great job of controlling Wagey. Very impressive performance by Brendan Lachnane. Both a little worse for the wear. We'll find out how the judges saw it when we come back. Professional Fighters League action underway here at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. There's Matt Wagey. Just took part in a three-round, spirited three-round affair in a featherweight showcase bout. 
There's his opponent, Brendan Lochnane. Great display of sportsmanship. Here's a couple of replays, those body kicks, and then the entry here, Randy, for the yeah. takedown. Used the kick to, to transition right to that single leg, dumped him nice, transitioned right in, and did a good job from the top position. Here, letting his hands go, finding range, has Waggy in trouble, and against the fence. Here's the big, pick him up and drop him to the mat. Again, control position, keeps his head up, posture's really nice. Lockney does a good job here. Shows some great wrestling and grappling ability. Again, finding that range, letting those hands go, smothering, and staying right on Waggy. Big, big right, right hand. hand. <laughs> Brendan Lockney, his first professional fighters league bout, already signed for the 2020 featherweight season. A prospect that a lot of people had their eyes on. Eve, a lot of pressure coming in. Did he live up to the hype, so to speak? You know, if we're looking for him to get finishes every single time, that's just not something that's going to happen. He is a high percentage fighter. He puts out a lot of volume. And we saw him really starting to get into his groove in, his, in the third round of that fight. Next season, if he comes in with that same energy in the beginning of the season, he's going to be a threat to a lot of the featherweights that we have right now. Lillian Garcia has the official judge's decision inside the BFL Smart Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and the totals are 30-26, 30-27, and 30-27. All for your winner by unanimous decision in the featherweight division, Brandon Lockney! So a successful debut in PFL action for Brendan Lochnane. Improves overall to 18 and three in his mixed martial arts career. Thank you, Sean, I'm here with a very happy Brendan. You were feeling the pressure coming into this to perform. You've been signed for the 2020 season. Welcome to the Professional Fighters League. How do you feel about the performance? Hey, what a wonderful place to be, first of all. Las Vegas PFL treating me absolutely amazingly. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's great to have you. Look, you said you expected the overhand right and the takedowns, great use of footwork, switching stances. Did it play out how you expected and did anything surprise you? Listen, nothing. I wanted to finish, that was it. I'm not happy with my performance because I, all I want is finishes. So anything that goes to a decision, win or lose, I don't like it. I like to entertain the people. This camp was a bit mad, few ups and downs in the camp, kind of show tonight. But, you know, first fight for PFL, 30-26. I mean, come on, what else can you say? He had a mallet head. Excellent. You finished with a flurry, landing the big right hand and the knee. Did you think you might get him out of there at the end? Oh, I've just got no luck getting people out of here recently. Uh, all the finishes that I've got in my career, just recently guys have been taking them because this is the higher level now. This is the highest level it gets. So, you know, guys are a lot more durable and they've got a lot more experience. So I'll go back to my camp and I'll work on a few things, but overall I want finishes, that's it. You said coming into the PFL for next season, it'd be like climbing Mount Everest. You've taken the first step. I know the people in Manchester, England would have stayed up till about 1 a.m. to watch you tonight. Any message for them? Manchester, England, the home. I know you're all in pubs at home watching it, going absolutely crazy. There's a few of them that have made the trip all the way from Manchester to here. So thank you guys very much. And I promise you, New Year's Eve, fireworks. <laughs> well, a big congratulations. Welcome to the PFL. Brendan Lockney, back to you, Sean. Thank you, Caroline. We might need to get a translator in there next time <laughs> Brendan Lochnane does a post-fight interview. That Manchester accent is fantastic, but it's thick, Eve. It's pretty thick. I was thinking to myself, this is a pretty British interview <laughs> yeah. going on right now.